Hey everybody, this is Donna from Tarot Tarot. We're going to do a deck review and it is the Cosmo Tarot. This one. So this deck, I'm going to come right out and say it right now. It's, it's fluff. So I definitely wouldn't recommend this for somebody who's trying to learn tarot because, well, you'll see. Okay, so this is not a, um, an unboxing. So if you notice, there's no cellophane on it. Um, I own this. Um, but I've got to, decided to do a review of it. So I put all the cards in the, the order they were in when, you know, it was purchased. Um, so let's just take a look. So here's what you have. You have this book and these cards. This book is this thick, and I want to show you why. It's so little in it. And I already found a typo, by the way. Um, but anyway, here's the descriptions of the cards. Not a whole lot going on there. So... Um, the typo, in case anybody decides to get this. I mean, it's a fun deck. It is fun. But um, you have the Knight of, in the Swords suit. Here's Swords, right? You have Nine of Swords, Ten of Swords, Page of Swords, Knight of Swords, then Queen of Cups, <laughs> and then King of Swords. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's a little typo there that they didn't catch. But here's the descriptions, for example. <clears throat> so, and it shows you um, the Queen of Swords, but it says Queen of Cups. But um, here's the descriptions, for example. For the King of Swords, it says, Make decisions based on facts, not feelings. That's literally their description of the King of Swords. Which, as anybody knows, there's a whole lot more than just that, right? But this isn't meant to be some in-depth deck that teaches you about, you know, I almost said astrology, but teaches you about tarot. It doesn't, it doesn't. So here's, you know, the front of the book. Now you have you have your major arcana, the backgrounds. I'm going to show you this. This okay, so the background for the major arcana is all dark. Um, for the cups, the outside, the border is blue. So you got blue for cups, which it does show an actual cup. Um, for wands, I find this interesting. It's like the key. <clears throat> the key is um the sign for wands and the background the border color is green the border for the swords which shows a pen <clears throat> which makes sense um and i'll tell you why in a second but the border is red i think red should be for wands but whatever because i always think red when i think fire signs um and then the pentacles um has a, a pink border <clears throat> and my pets are here all right so you know, pen for swords makes sense because swords are about thinking and communication. What's a pen used for? Communication. Um, and interesting that they use a clock <clears throat> or a watch face. I guess it depends on what... I think it's supposed to be a clock. No, I don't even know. Look, it, I don't see any bands on him. So I think that's supposed to be a clock. But anyway, <clears throat> I find it interesting because pentacles are the earth signs. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn usually represented by pentacles, um, which has to do with stability and money and things of substance. Well, interesting because Capricorns are known for, they have, they like um, things that tell time. They like clocks. A lot of them collect clocks and watches. If you if you check in any Capricorn you know, you're gonna find one that admits that, yeah, they collect clocks or they collect watches. They have a collection in a drawer somewhere of old watches. Um, so I find that interesting. As far as the key for wands, I don't quite understand. <clears throat> I mean, it's Aries, Leo, and Sag. And other than Sagittarius folks liking to travel, and you're always needing a, a key for the hotel room. <laughs> but keys these days, you know, um, they're usually card keys. So I, I don't even know. If somebody has an idea, feel free to put it in the comments. Um, cups are about emotions, and this is, you know, the cups shows a cup. <clears throat> All right, so... Let's go through. But this is, a, it's a fluff deck. Um, it, it's just, it's meant to be more, um, I guess, novelty. It's a novelty deck. But I will say this, if you use it in combination with other decks, as you're doing like a reading, and you're using one deck for this and one deck for that, it will give depth to the reading. Kind of like, um, what are the one I did yesterday? It was this one. Yesterday, I, I did a review of the uh, Illuminated Tarot, which kind of is the same not quite but this is much more novelty much more um <clears throat> that use makes you know that one will give depth in the reading and so will this one so let's do the quick flip through um so here is your full card 
I'm just going to actually go through it. You have um, the magician. You have the high priestess. The emperor. Followed by, or wait, the empress. Okay, so here's your empress card. Here's your emperor card. Um, so it, it does take into account different uh, nationalities as well. Here's the Hierophant. I mean, I like that they do that. But you know from the name. And see, here's um, the Lovers. This this particular Lovers card makes me think of like um, a third-party situation. <laughs> There's that. Um, the Chariot card. Your Strength card. The Hermit, I guess, because they're hidden behind the clouds. Um, Wheel of Fortune, because you so you have that, that spiral like the cosmos wheel in the background. Justice, why there's a picture frame? I don't know. Is somebody getting framed and they're not getting framed? Or you know, who I don't know who came up with this. The hangman. Actually, all of these have picture frames. A lot of not of them. Not all of them. Okay, so some of them have picture frames. But you have the death card, the temperance, the devil. This is an interesting devil. <laughs> All right, you have the tower, the star. I, it's a pretty star. I like that. I do like that. Um, the moon, which of course shows a moon. Um, the sun, judgment, the world card. Okay, so I'm going to quickly go through the suits. Um, if, if anybody wants to see, but basically <clears throat> it's just, it's fluff. So you have your ace of cups, your two of cups, three of cups, four of cups, five, six of cups, there's your seven. If you want to see anything um, up close, you can just pause and, and enlarge the screen or enlarge the image um, or screenshot it and enlarge it. All right. Um, seven of cups. Here's your, um, or that's your eight. Here's your eight of cups. Here's the moon in the background where they're walking away uh, because of emotions, you know. Um, here's your nine of cups. That's usually wish fulfillment. Look at all the, you know, the, very happy there. Uh, ten of cups, also very happy, over the rainbow kind of thing. Um, page. Here's your page of cups. Knight of cups. Queen and king. And actually, I like this because you know what? This one has a rose quartz in the goblet. <laughs> That's my favorite soon. I love rose quartz. All right, so here. Here's your ace of wands, two of wands, three of wands, four of wands. This is supposed to be the one that has to do with um, everything. Look, and they that looks like rose quartz ball in the background too. I like that. Um, so... I mean, I don't know. It's superficial, but it's pretty. Five of Wands, this is like fighting. There you are. There's somebody fighting, I don't know, or comp competing. Um, six of Wands, Seven of Wands. That makes sense because it's like blocking or, you know, holding off the competition or whatever. Eight of Wands, fast movement. Nine of Wands. Um, yeah. So is the moon always a pink? Is that what it is? I guess because it's Cosmo, right? Um, so ten of wands. You get your page, knight, queen, and king. All right. So then I'm not gonna. I'll shuffle those later. But here's okay. So swords make sense that they have a pen, right? It makes sense because you know communication, thinking. Um, so putting your thoughts on paper. So the moon in this one is, it looks like the, any moon is light blue. That's interesting. All right, so ace of swords, two of swords, three. There's your heartbreak card. Ooh, I'm shaking. Man, I've, had, I've had a little too much of this. <laughs> See this? This is my coffee. <laughs> a little too much. So, of course, I take another sip. Um, so you have your uh, four of swords, five of swords, this is the fighting that's arguing. This is the arguing and bickering card. It doesn't really say arguing and bickering to me, but six of swords, seven of swords, 
So this is the sneakiness card, right? The Shady McShadester card? <laughs> I don't quite see that, but whatever. Um, sleight of, maybe it's sleight of hand. That makes sense. All right, so um, here's your Eight of Swords. I don't see that as losing sleep, but okay. Um, or being tied in your thoughts. Okay, this one's the losing sleep one. Yeah, so see, Nine of Swords, Ten of Swords, being done being done stabbed in the back or whatever all right so here's your page knight queen it's pretty queen of swords and king of swords let see there's a blue marble <laughs> like the earth <laughs> all right so then last but not least you have pentacles done with the watch or clock or whatever all right so here's your ace two Three of Pentacles, where you're working together with somebody, finding answers, building something together. All right, so four of Pentacles, holding on to something, being stubborn. Five of Pentacles, um, feeling left out in the cold. That, that one's actually green. Green like money. <laughs> money. Pentacles, money, right? Um, interesting. So what was the ball in this one? This one was just, was it just gray? Uh, hang on, i got to look. Um, that one's pink. Uh, pink. And then this one is pink. All right, never mind. I thought each one had a different color. All right, so then you have the Six of Pentacles. This is the card of um, balancing things out, equal give and take, possibly giving to two people. Seven of Pentacles, analyzing things, looking it over to see if it's worth it. Eight of Pentacles, working hard. Does it look like they're working hard? I don't know. It doesn't look like working hard to me, but anyway. Nine of Pentacles, um, being single and having it all. I mean, if you have if you have diamonds for eyelashes, I guess you do have it all, don't you? <laughs> right? Diamonds for eyelashes. All right, so then you have the uh, Ten of Pentacles, like living the, the good life, rich life. You have the Page of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, there's your knight of pentacles my fingernails are short because i don't know if you can see it this right here mm. my guitar <laughs> all right and then you have queen of pentacles and king of pentacles now let's see that is interesting so the queen has the the diamonds above and the king has the diamonds below i don't understand that but all right it looks like it's reversed but whatever all right so that's a quick flip through <clears throat> but it's a fluff deck um do i recommend it Eh, I mean, for fun. Um, I I purchased mine at a discount store called TJ Maxx. Um, I live in the United States. I live in Northern Virginia in Northern United States. And there's a discount store called TJ Maxx. Um, they sell things that other stores are like, when, when they want to move the remnants of like a season or something, and they want to bring in new product, they take all the excess stuff and they send it to a liquidator. Like, and TJ Maxx sells it in their stores, Home Goods, um, Marshalls. Ross. Those are like the, I think they're all actually owned by the same company, but they're a discount store. So I found it for like $7. In fact, um, I did peel off this, the price thing, but it said $6.99 on the back. Um, this one and, or at least I think that's how much it was. But anyway, it was super cheap. Actually, wait a minute. Ooh, this isn't the one that, I think this is the one I got from my friend Kristen. Oh no, this is, okay, I think this is one that Kristen got. And then we traded decks, I believe. Because this this one I got for $6.99. And where's the other one? This one. These two I got from PJ Maxx for $6.99. <clears throat> In fact, this one still has the sticker on the back. So $6.99. It's this one, which I might do a review of. But, it, I mean, it's going to be a quick review because it's a pretty typical deck. This one. Those two. Okay, so I think, actually, I got this one from Kristen. So, Kristen, if you're watching, my bad. <laughs> Um, cause I think I got this one from her. It was one that I was thinking about getting, but I was like, eh, it's, it's kind of fluff. Um, so, I mean, it's a fun deck, but what I, can I take it seriously? No. Would I use it? Um, I'm going to use it because I have it on my list. When I do readings, what the hell is my stuff? Um, what is, where's my stuff? Did I put it here? Hold on. I'm all discombobulated. Uh, yeah, here it is. Okay. So here's a list. I have these decks 
and I roll this die. It's a 30-sided die, and so I let it choose from the, you know, the decks of tarot cards and oracle cards, and then this is a, a special group that I might do, but it's completely different. Um, but, you know, you, you roll, and if, if Cosmo Tarot comes up, which is um, number 12, so if number 12 comes up, this is 14, that would be um, Dog's Tarot, but I will read with it. I'll do a reading with it, but do I see it as a deck that you can do an in-depth reading with? No. <laughs> No, I don't. Um, but it's, it's cute. It's fun. So if you want something just for fun, or if you want to test your ability to um, read the different signs, it's it's a perfect deck for that. For like, you know, trying to remember what signs are what. Like um, aces and pages are the three signs with that element. So swords are air signs, right? Um, air, um, Gemini, Libra, and Sa uh, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. <laughs> um, so... The aces, this would be the ace, would represent all three signs. But like if you're testing your ability to like look through a reading and, and tell somebody what signs are there, um, two, three, and four are going to be um, cardinal. So that would be Libra. So <clears throat> as you're going through, you're trying to t maybe you're trying to test yourself. It'd be a good deck for that. So two, three, and four are Libra. I mean, you could do that. I don't. Other than that, it's a it's a fluff deck. It's fun. It's fluff. And that's really all I got to say about that. Um, if you have any comments, if you have any suggestions, like why Wands uses a key, I don't know. Um, feel free to put it in the comments. I hope you like this. And if you want to see any of the other decks that I review, they're also in the, uh, the playlist called Random. And with that said, I've spent way too many minutes on this video. <laughs> Thank you for watching and take care. Love you. Bye.